June is off to a deadly start in Afghanistan. Fifteen Americans died in the first eight days, including two killed today by a roadside bomb. Among the casualties are seven members of the 3rd Battalion 1st Marines in southern Afghanistan. In this exclusive report, Terry McCarthy follows the thundering third into battle. Patrol base Karma under attack by the Taliban in broad daylight. Straight ahead. These Marines have only been here two weeks. For some of the younger men, this is their first ever firefight. After a lull in the fighting, we've just received some more incoming shots. The Marines are now waiting to see if there'll be a second wave of the attack. But the Taliban have melted away in the face of the Marines' firepower. Instead, they generally resort to a different weapon the improvised explosive device, or IED, which is harder for the Marines to fight. Let's go. While we were there, they hit a Marine patrol just two miles north of the base. Shortly before 10 o'clock this morning, we heard an explosion. Minutes later, we heard two American casualties. The explosion happened about 50 yards behind me here. Right now, the Marines are securing the area against any possible ambush. Oh! Staff Sergeant Paul Worley, who is a 10-year veteran of the Marines and a former tobacco farmer from North Carolina, is in charge of the rescue mission. Double tap, main, up and down, over. Across the radio, he hears two angels, which means both men are dead. A sergeant in the Afghan army approaches. He was walking right behind the two Marines who were sweeping the road with metal detectors when the ID blew up. They try to sweep. They take the sweep and they do like that, they blow up. So as they were sweeping, it blew up? Yeah. Finally, the Marines reach the crater itself, which is waist deep and stretches across the entire road. They retrieve the bodies of the two men, Sergeant Kenneth May, who was 26, and Corporal Jeffrey Johnson, 21, both from Texas. Everyone goes silent as they carry their fallen comrades away. Next day, the Marines are still recovering. Warley, on his fourth deployment, has seen this before. Many of his men have not. Yeah, anytime anything like that happens, it's, it's rough. Uh, I mean, that's why y'all were out there yesterday. I tried to keep the youngest Marines back and not let them really get good visual on what was happening. To keep them focused, Wardy takes out another patrol straight away, looking for information on the Taliban who are placing the IDs. These Marines are quickly learning what type of war they will have to fight here. Terry McCarthy, CBS News. Patrol base Karma in southern Afghanistan.